ladies and gentlemen, the President and Vice President of the United States. strong, powerful champions, right? That's right? All champions. Well, I just want to thank everybody for being here, and we're very excited to welcome to the White House the 2018 FCS National Champions, the North Dakota State University Bison, and that's with a Z. You know, I spell <laughs> I, always, I actually took the S out, and I just put the you Z there, because I didn't want to. They said, sir, make sure you have it with a Z. Anyway, the First Lady, uh, as you know, she's out uh, working very hard on the Be Best campaign all throughout the country for children. Uh, it's something very, very important to her, so she sends her warmest regards. And the Clemson Tigers, I don't know, they're, they're pretty good, aren't they, huh? They're pretty good. Could you guys take them? Uh, what do you think? I think <laughs> I've looked at your record. You'd have a heck of a shot, right? Well, they were here, and you know, when you two great senators and a couple of others, but these two guys, they really said, uh, would it be possible to do this for this team? And I said, you know, I watched your championship game. I said, those guys are good. They deserve it. They really deserve it. You are special. So it's an honor to have our, your representatives and your, by the way, and your new congressional representative. It's a great honor. Uh, great. Thank you. Come here. Let me shake your hand. Congratulations on a nice win. One congressman, two senators, huh? Eh? Our first lady. That, and Got very you. important. How are you? Nice to see you. Absolutely good. Thank you. Say hello. Say hello to the governor. So I want to thank everybody. But before we begin, I'd like to start by sending our love and prayers to the incredible people of Alabama, incredible state, unbelievable people, and everyone affected by the catastrophic storms that struck the Gulf states yesterday. The town, schools, churches, and homes were devastated by tornadoes of a force like we haven't seen in a long time. Historic. Our whole nation mourns for the more than 20 lives lost and for the heartbroken families they leave behind. I got reports on it this morning, and it was absolute devastation. It was, it was just terrible. You look at the areas affected, and probably nobody made it out of that path. That path was brutal. To the community of Lee County, we grieve by your side, and we pledge our unwavering support to help you rebuild from the very depths of this horrible tragedy. This morning, I spoke with Alabama Governor Kay Ivey, friend of mine, a tremendous governor, tremendous person, and I've directed FEMA to provide immediate assistance to the great state of Alabama. They're in there in full force, and whatever we can do, we're doing. They're already there. They got there last night. It's at times like this, it's more important than ever to be close with the ones we love and to cherish our friends and our family and to unite as one nation. We're here to recognize amazing achievements of truly an amazing group of young, skilled athletes and great Americans. But I just had to say that, and I know everybody's standing with me here. All great Americans, I know you feel the same way. So we're with the people of Alabama and the surrounding area. To the entire Bison team, congratulations on winning this incredible season. It's really a season. You had great games, but this is a season. Seventh title in eight years. We should be able to do that. Yeah, so right, 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 right on. Uh -huh. The most championships in FCS. That's right. You know, you never get tired of winning, do you? Not, you never get tired. Not these guys. Not these guys, that's for sure. 
But think of it, it's the uh, seventh title in eight years. And you have some great football teams in that program, I know that, in that group. And you should all be incredibly proud to coach Matt Entz. Where's Coach? Coach. Look, look at the way he stands back there. <laughs> Hi, big coach. He's a big guy. Get over here with me, Coach. Huh? Come on over here. Come here, Coach. Get over here. I want to be I want to be here. Uh, we want some of that to rub off on us. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And to Matt Larson. Where's Matt Larson? Where's Matt? Where is he? Get over here, Matt. Get over here. Did you pick the right coach? I think so. Huh? I think so. I think so. You picked the right everything, I have to say. I think you picked the right everything. Joining us are some of your biggest fans. You have a lot of fans. And I did watch. I got to watch a lot of that game. That was quite a game. Senator John Hoven, been my friend for a long time. And I want to thank you. And you and Kevin called, and you said, can we do this? I said, After, how long did it take me to say yes? Not very long. I actually said I saw the game. <laughs> OK? And uh, it didn't take long, I can tell you. We also happen to love that state. Maybe I'd feel differently if it was someplace else, but it wasn't <laughs> a special place. So I want to thank John Hoven, Senator Kevin Kramer, who's just come off a tremendous victory, and uh, really a tremendous victory. And uh, thank you very much. Come here, Matt. That was, that was fantastic, really fantastic. To Representative Kelly Armstrong, way to go. Congratulations. That's a job well done. North Dakota Attorney General Wayne Stengem. Where is hi Wayne? Get over here, Wayne. Come here. Come here, Wayne. That's okay. Don't worry. You have more power than all of them. <laughs> <laughs> and to North Dakota First Lady Catherine Bergham. And I really it's great to see you. It's great to see you. Thank you very much, Catherine. The Bison football team has achieved something truly remarkable. Through your grit, determination, and teamwork, you finished this season with a 15-0 record. But your biggest win of all was a stunning 38-24 victory over the Eastern Washington Eagles. Supposed to be a very good team. Were they good? What do you think? Pretty good? Houston? Not as good as you, right? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good? Not bad, right? Not bad. You started strong, scoring 10 unanswered points in the first quarter. Senior quarterback, I want to meet this guy, Easton Stick, that was some game, led the way with 198 passing yards, but that wasn't the big deal. Three rushing touchdowns and two passing touchdowns. And this past year, he broke the Bison's all-time touchdown passing record with seven games left in the season. That's not bad. Where is this guy? I want to. Uh, right wow. Got the look, too. Got that look. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Brady here. Is he Tom Brady? <laughs> yes. Got that whole, he's got that Absolutely. whole package. Yeah. He's the real deal. Now you're the real deal, I'll tell you. I, I see that. That's great. Good Thank luck. You. Good Thank luck. You. What year are you in it, Scott? Are you going back or are you going to what? Just, what? just finished. Just you left just the finished? NFL Combine to come uh, here. I think somebody better draft oh, him. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> We're going to be watching. Good, that's fantastic. Oh, it's going to be a rich guy. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that money. I feel money. Just don't worry about the money. Just do a great job. I think you're going to be fantastic. A really, really impressive young man and an incredible game. Both of Easton's touchdown passes, uh, the championship, were to MVP wide receiver, there's another guy, <laughs> Darius Shepard. Where's Darius? Right Where's yep. Darius? Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? What year are you? In? What? Uh, I just graduated as well. So you're in the combat, you're out there? Uh, training right now. Okay, good. You're all set? Yep. Come here. <laughs> He'll be great. <laughs> and uh, Darius also averaged an astounding 25 yards per catch. That's pretty good, including an incredible, during the big game, 78-yard reception in the third quarter. And that's one of, the, uh, one of the most spectacular catches and passes that we've seen this season for any team. And I do mean it. We had uh, the Clemson Tigers here, and I did the same thing. We could have had chefs, we could have, but we got fast food. <laughs> because we know what. I know you people very well. Okay? <laughs> And uh, I'm, gonna I'm gonna finish this quick because we gotta get that stuff, although it's being kept pretty warm. Every single time this Bison team 
took to the field. You gave it your all, proving to everyone that when you play with passion, love, and you really love your team, you love your team, right? Uh, you better believe it. Otherwise, it's somehow probably not the same. And relentlessly reach for excellence. Nothing is impossible. Congratulations once again to your team, your senators, your congressmen, to your state. What a place it is. I've been there a lot, right? I went there a lot. I worked hard. Now I'm going to be starting to work hard for you. Uh, you're going to win. You have my endorsement, by the way, in case it's like, I don't know if I, uh, I want to give it nice and early. You have my endorsement 100 percent. OK with you, right? You got my endorsement 100 yeah. percent. And you've made your, your mark, really. You have made a football mark. And I will tell you, I, I have watched a lot of teams. I think I understand this sport a little bit. And I've watched your, your team in that, especially in that last game. You're really talented people, forgetting all the other stuff. And uh, you really have uh, a tremendously talented team. And I would like to see you play a couple of those other competitors, because I think it would be very interesting. Mm -hmm. I think it would maybe be a lot more interesting than people understand. But you're champions. You, you know you're good. You feel you're good. And yet you're great people. And it's an honor. And as soon as uh, these guys came up and they said, do you mind doing it, I said, I really want to do it. I look forward to doing it. And then we weren't going to do this, because I've never done that before, before Clemson. But we were during a shutdown, and we had nobody working. And somebody suggested, I said, yeah, but we don't have people working. But the staff is so good, they would have come back. But I said, you know what? Don't worry about it, fellas. Let's just go get some McDonald's, Wendy's. Uh, we have a couple of others, too. I won't get into two. But we have all American. Burger King, um, we have, we like American companies, okay? Yeah. We like American companies. And that's what we did. So you guys, that's right, Chick-fil-A, they say? Mm -hmm. Chick-fil-A? <laughs> he knew, he knew better than I knew. So I just want to thank, now, before we waste any time, uh, anybody want to speak, you speak, but go grab yourself something we could eat right here. In fact, I, I would have one right up here, but I don't think I want to do that because it'll be too big a story for these people. <laughs> They'll say, isn't it horrible? Isn't it inappropriate? <laughs> but I would like, John, if you guys could say something just real quickly. And uh, if, if anybody is really desperate, go get it. Otherwise, you'll wait a couple of seconds. Come on up. Mr. President, I, I just want to say thank you. Um, you know, when I asked if you'd do this you, right away, you said, yep, I know the bison. I've been to Fargo, and uh, we can do it. Now, it just so happens that we'd like to make a presentation. Would it be all right if we made a presentation? Absolutely. All right. Well, you mentioned our quarterback, Easton Stick. And uh, he just, matter of fact, he flew back from the NFL Combine in order to get on the charter plane and come out with wow. his team. And, and he epitomizes these guys. It's not just that they're great athletes. Seven national championships in the last eight years. It's not just that they're great students, student athletes. They have real character. These guys are leaders with their peer. They're out there doing great things every single day of the week. We couldn't be more proud, not just of the way they represent North Dakota State University, but the state of North Dakota. We could not be more proud. And so if it'd be all right with you, Mr. President, we have a little presentation uh, we would like to make. Uh, and uh, our quarterback, Easton Stick, has something for you, and he'd like to present that to you now. OK, Easton. Thank you. Well, Mr. President, it's an absolute pleasure to be here. Um, and it's a huge honor for our team, uh, for our community, for our state, and really for everyone that's been a part of Bison football uh, for a really long time. We have an unbelievable brotherhood. Uh, that goes back to the 60s, winning championships, and it's a huge family. Um, and so today, uh, we would like to extend an offering uh, to be part of that family oh, wow. uh, with uh, a jersey. Good. Show uh, the number. It's a 45. Oh, wow. For uh, President Trump. 45th president. Thank you. Thank you. That's your number, 45. Thank you. That's, that's the number, is right. Thank you, man. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? Think you can handle say say think just, you can handle say just a word. I'm going to ask the coach to say yeah, a word. Yeah, please. Please. Yeah, Come on up. Come on up. Start it off, Easton. He's probably going to be a politician someday. <laughs> well, he's got the, he's got the, he's the whole package. package. <laughs> he does uh, well, again, I'll just say this is an unbelievable honor uh, for all of us uh, to be here, uh, to experience this, and, and get a chance to spend some time with you. And uh, seriously, thank you very much for taking time out of your schedule and, and allowing us to do this. It means a lot to us. 
um, and, and really everyone that, that's been a part of our program um, here now and in the past. So, so thank you very much. And uh, Senator, thank you. So thank you very much. It's, this is an unbelievable opportunity. Thank we'll you. We'll be watching you on Sundays. <laughs> right. Appreciate that. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very Coach, much. Coach, please say something. Yeah. Mr. President, uh, we do appreciate uh, from all of our players, and, and we were fortunate enough to bring 108 of our uh, uh, teammates and, and many of our support staff and administration to come here uh, and visit you today. And, and, and what an honor. Uh, this is a little different uh, setting than what I'm used to speaking in. Usually it's more locker room-like, but uh, uh, hard to believe a farm kid from Iowa was speaking in the White House. But we appreciate your uh, letting us come visit the hospitality we've experienced already. and. Uh, Next thing, let's get you out there for a game because I think it's one right. of a kind. Thank you. Thank you. Well, well let, let me just say again, on behalf of all of the people of North Dakota, Mr. President, thank you for acknowledging this incredible accomplishment. And yes, it's true, uh, the folks in North Dakota, the folks in Bison Nation are not tired of winning, never will be tired of winning. Um, but I just want you to know that this team really epitomizes the incredible culture of our great state. And we couldn't be better represented. In fact, as I often say about town, John Hoven and I and Kelly Armstrong, you know, we're really big stuff, right? We get more street cred knowing these guys than being us. <laughs> so <laughs> thank you for everything. Yes, Dean absolutely. Dean, please. Thank you, Mr. President. It is absolutely an honor to be here. It's an honor to have been affiliated with a team that set an NCAA record for winning seven national championships. But what the real honor is, is the 100 some odd young men we're standing with today, Mr. President. They are the best of the best. And I don't mean that just in an athletic sense. They are exceptional human beings, they're exceptional future leaders, and I have never been so proud to be affiliated with a team as I am this one. Thank you, you Mr. President. Fantastic job. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thanks, team. Please, come on, Matt. Come here, Darius. How about Darius? Yeah, yeah. We're going to watch Darius on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, we just want to thank you for having us here, Mr. President. It's been an honor to be here and, you know, see the White House and experience this. It's something we'll never forget and be able to share with our family. So thank you. Does he have big speed? Oh, yeah. Big, yeah. He's oh, fast. Yeah. 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 Major jets. No. <laughs> Major jets. Way to go, man. Thanks. Thank you. Go eat up. Enjoy yourselves, everybody. Catherine, thank you very much. That's crazy. Mr. President, you just cooperate with Mr. Nadler? I cooperate all the time with everybody. And you know the beautiful thing? No collusion. It's all a hoax. You're going to learn about that as you grow older. It's a political hoax. There's no collusion. There's no anything. Folks, go and eat up. Eat up.